I found I need a trolley in the workshop, so today I'm going to make one. Just going to be a simple unit, 35 inches long, 18 inches wide, keep it reasonably low line, so not too high off the ground so it doesn't want to tip. So I'm using inch and a quarter square. Uh, and in the wheels, I've got two locking wheels, which uh, for me, things are a little bit uneven, so it's nice to be able to lock whatever you're wheeling around down. But also, you can do a bit of work on things without the trolley sliding away and trying to chock it with bits of wood or whatever. So anyway, two locking wheels. Wheels are big enough that they're gonna run over stuff. Uh, bolts, whatever you, you happen to run up to. If you get the little ones, I'll skid along in front of it. So that's my wheels. Three strips, piece at the end. This is obviously 18 inches. A piece at the end. And for the slats, I just want low lying, about half inch thick. So I've got a bit of pallet wood here. Look at that, just the right size. So I'll smash that up. And that'll be the timber I'll put on the top. Timber's always good, things don't slide on it. Plus if you lay a bit of carpet over the timber, the timber holds the carpet from wanting to slide as well. So anyway, stop talking, get into it. Hope you enjoy. Basically it, nice and flat, ready for the timber on the top. That side. I'll give it a bit of a buff up, get rid of all this bit of corrosion and stuff on the, the metal and I'll give it a quick coat of paint.
painting boards that the finish doesn't matter too much. Three nails gives you a stand, makes it easy, you can paint the back, sides, stand it up, finish it all off, put it to the side. end of this project. Quite happy with it. Doesn't take up much room in storage. Uh, does its job. Yeah, really good. Swings in around doorways quite nicely. So, yeah, you've got to keep them reasonably short. I'll put the dimensions of this on the, uh, in the description below the video. But anyway, hope you liked it. Thank you.